Okay, the first time you open up QuickBooks, this is the screen that you're going to see, right? No company open because we haven't created our company file yet. So what we're going to do is, we're in this video, we're going to take you through the Express Setup. There's another video that shows you the detailed setup. Express Setup is what we recommend. Okay, so I'm going to create a new company. And of course, we're going to choose Express Start. I'm going to put in my business name. Oops, if I could spell it. Then the industry. Notice when I start typing, right, it'll give me a drop down of different industry types. Then we have our business type here. Business type is important to choose because it helps us link our chart of accounts accounts to our tax return, right? So if we're using TurboTax or anything like that, so I'm going to go ahead and choose S Corporation. Put in our tax ID number. If you don't know it offhand, you don't have to go research, pull out all your documents. You can enter this later, but just remember that you do want to enter it later. I can put in my address. country, phone number. Now again, notice that the red asterisks are what is required. If you don't have this information right now, you can always come back and enter it later, and we show you in other videos how to do that. From here, I can go back, right? If I said, oh, I need to go back and do detailed, no. We can also preview our settings. So these are the features selected. This is what they turn on for you uh, because of the industry type that you have selected. Okay. Now, if you don't want to create estimates, as an example, we can always change that in the preferences, which there are videos on preferences uh, in this prepare for setup area as well. We can also go in and see the chart of accounts. Again, they suggest this chart of accounts, they being Intuit QuickBooks. You can come in and say, you know what, I am doing bookkeeping. I want to turn that on. I am I'm doing payroll services, I want to turn that on. I don't do taxes, I want to turn that off, right? So you can decide which accounts you want to have as defaults in your chart of accounts. But of course, we can, once we've created the file, we can go in there and change up our chart of accounts as well, okay? This is the most important area of the preview, your company settings. It's where your file is going to be stored. So. QuickBooks is going to default to see users public documents into it QuickBooks company files. If you want to change that location, right? You want to put it to a map drive or put it on the sh the shared server, you can change the location of the file here. In the future, uh, you can always go into this, right? See users public Da, 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 and move the company file as well. It's just sometimes that's kind of a hard extension, so sometimes it's hard to navigate there. Um, so you may want to change the location from the get-go. So I'm going to go ahead and say OK and create company. Then it's just going to take a couple seconds here to start up our company file. Gets us all excited. I like how it says, glad you're here. <laughs> You'll be glad you're here too once you get started with QuickBooks. <laughs> okay, and then we have this QuickBooks setup. It's meant to be helpful, right? If you don't want to go through this, you can just go to start working. And I have a behind the scenes third party application, so I'm going to say no. And now we're inside of QuickBooks.